All right, what's up guys? Back for another quick video. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask about the true roller skates. Uh, we put this order in this past Monday. Today is Tuesday the 24th, so eight days from when I put this order in to when they showed up at my doorstep. Um, so let's unbox these, take a look at them. We're gonna show you how to bake the skates, um, how to change the wheels, and then uh, I've got a couple other questions that I'm gonna go through too for people have asked. So, so do you look like. So first thing you're gonna notice, really awesome packaging. All I've done is open the flap so far. I think these have the uh, magnetic handles. So you can hear them pop closed. Nice touch with the leaf here. They are fit prefer for performance. And here first thing we've got letter of authenticity from crew and we've got baking instructions we will need these because we're not going to do them at an actual shop we're going to do them right here in my house and open these up the rest of the way yeah, these are clean got MD embroidered right here on the top I uh, went with the black on this version. Got the thin profile tongue as well. Um, it's got the revision true flex wheels on it. Uh, comes with the multi tool. Definitely good to keep this in your bag. And the second skate as well. Um, and these look fantastic as usual all right next thing up we're actually going to show you guys how to bake these true includes these instructions in the box so if they get sent directly to your house like they did mine you don't have to actually take them somewhere to get them baked so on these it says conventional ovens please heat to about 180 degrees fahrenheit bake approximately 15 to 20 minutes so we're going to go ahead and preheat this thing to 180 um, next thing up, you actually have to pull these wheels off because you don't want these to go in the oven because I'm pretty sure they would melt. So tool that come with them. And you can see these come apart real easily. I hope this focuses on it. All you do, straight in, and pull them out. You kind of got to put your finger on the other side to keep this from pushing out. So pull these off. We'll get one of these out of here. And the other side just falls out, wheel comes right out. These come with the Revision Pro Plus bearings in them. I'm sure you guys can see these. And um, we can actually leave these bearings on because we're just gonna put the wheels on right back after that. So I'll fast forward, we'll get all these wheels off um, and then we'll start baking them. Uh, one other quick thing to note, these can get stripped pretty easily. Um, you can pick them up, um, I think I got mine through Pure Hockey, I paid five bucks and got like a set of ten of them, eight or ten of them or so, because I actually stripped one on my other pair of skates. Um, I'll leave that link down in the description, but it's literally just two bolts that fit together on each side. Of course the wheel and the uh, axle go in the center of it. Um, but it's a good thing to keep a handful of these like in your uh, in your gear bag or in your kit bag that you carry with you because you don't want one of those stripping at a bad time, especially when you're changing wheels. All right, so next up, we got our wheels off, um, axles here. Uh, we need to unlace these skates because they are very stiff coming out of the factory. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and unlace these. Always leave the top two eyelets um, undone when I store my skates anyway, but you can see there's no way I can get my foot in this right now anyway. Um, so we're gonna unlace these as much as possible because it's gonna be hard to get our foot in them coming out of the oven. And we wanna get it in there as quickly as possible once we get the skates out. So that should give us quite a bit of room. All right, so I've got these laces swapped out not swapped out uh, I got the laces fixed one side was considerably longer than the other so I wanted to go ahead and fix that um, so that when we bake them I can tie them up 
correctly and actually get a good bake on them. Um, I'm sure you've seen a lot of the posts on social media where they like wrap the skate and saran wraps, a new way that True is doing of baking them. Um, I don't have any of the material at home, so I'm gonna go with the instructions they gave. Either or is gonna be fine. Um, so now, what we're gonna do, oven is already heated to 180, which took no time at all because it's barely any heat on it. We're gonna put them in for about 15, 20 minutes um, until they're soft, and then we will lace them up about 75%. You don't wanna jerk on the eyelet, especially when it's coming right out of the oven because you can pop the eyelet right out and then, yeah, it'd just be bad news. So we're gonna put these in for 15 to 20 minutes, and then we'll be back, show you the rest of the process. All right, skates fresh out of the oven. They spent about 15 minutes in there. Uh, I got my phone, so I'm gonna be sitting here for a few minutes. And we're just gonna put these on. Hopefully this is still in frame. Oh yeah, those fit. So good. Go ahead and get the other one on. We'll lace them up. Notice too, you kind of go in sideways with these. First time, first couple times you're putting them on, they go in a lot better. That thin profile tongue fits really good too. So we're gonna lace these up probably about 75% what you normally would so that we don't tear an eyelet out of there. All right, so we've got those laced up. Probably sit here for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. All right, so it's been 10, 12 minutes. Uh, we're gonna unlace these. Um, still pull the top two eyelets out, or sorry, top two laces out of the top two eyelets. Um, and then we'll show you putting the wheels back on. Um, and they'll be ready to go. We'll probably give them 24 hours before I actually go out and skate on them. Uh, but it's raining right now anyway, so I can't go out and do anything. So we'll take these off and then uh, the wheels back on. All right, so we've got these baked. Um, next stop, wheels need to go back on. Um, just going to separate these. So 80, 76, 76, 76. 76, 80, and then this should be 80 and 80. So these frames are the traditional hollow frames. So front two, you want 76, 76, 80, 80 on both of them. All right, so real easy to put back in. Just wanna take one of the 76s. I always like to put, um, since these are brand new wheels, it doesn't really matter, but I like to keep the same side lined up for each of them. So if you'll notice, one side of these actually has the size on it, um, the other side does not. So what I'm gonna do is put the size facing out on both skates. That way when you get to a point where you ran these down a little bit, all you're gonna do is pull them off, swap them, get the lock out of the other side of the wheels as well. So real easy, all I've done is slide this back into place. Square bolt goes in first one side same thing with taking these off. You kind of want to put a finger on it to hold it. Make sure it's lined up properly. Grab one of the bolts, go straight in. And then we'll tighten that up. And that's really all you do to put the wheels back in. Um, I will go through the rest of these. We'll get some more B-roll of the skates once we finished. Um, yeah. Pretty easy. All right, so as you guys can see, these are ready to roll. Um, I will probably give them 24 hours or so before I actually go out and skate on them. Um, but it's pouring rain outside right now, so there's no point in even trying that. Um, next video, probably go through and actually show you guys how to change the wheels on these. Uh, we've got some hard wheels in here, some different setups um, because these would get torn up real quick outside. Um, again, if you guys have questions, comments, uh, hit it up in the section down below. Uh, you can also find my social channels listed down below. Give me a follow on Instagram. Uh, if you guys have questions, reach out. Thanks. See you in the next one.